All right, today I'm gonna to replace the grip tape just on the rear. I'm not gonna bother with the front. The front's not that bad yet. This is the first one wheel I ever bought, my original one wheel. And the rear grip is getting pretty weak and it's kind of falling apart. It's about due for replacement. Now I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel here. I've seen the one wheel grip tape replacement videos. Some of them are really good. Uh, like I just watched the one from One Woman, One Wheel. Good job. Um, but I've got a little bit of a different take on it. Uh, I've been skateboarding for a long time almost 30 years and I've gripped many a board and a, a couple things I'm doing I haven't seen in any of the other one wheel videos so I'm going to mention it here just in case it saves you some time uh, I'm really tempted to save the imprinted one wheel here I really like that I could cut it out and but I'm not crazy about making cuts in grip tape it's in a, in a few instances, in a few, there's a few reasons why not to. For one thing, you're going to get crap in here. It's going to get up underneath the grip tape. You get this sort of thing going on. Uh, another is if you get too close to the edge, then you're going to get peely things. Like That's why this peels up on one wheels is because these are tight little edges here. The, the more of a tight curve, pointy surface you get, the more likely it is to peel up. Rounded surfaces like this are a lot less likely to peel up. So, and this is pretty far away from the edge. So actually, this would be a good candidate if you wanted to cut a hole in your grip tape, but I'm not gonna bother. Uh, tools you're gonna need, box cutter. You don't need a fancy one like this. Any sort of box cutter with the regular uh, blade like that. Uh, out of the way, cat. Either a screwdriver or a wrench to grind away at the grip tape on the edge of the board. That's the way we always did it on the skateboards. I may or may not do that here, and we'll see how it goes. I'm actually likely gonna use this as a template. You need a hair dryer to remove the grip tape, and you've seen if you've seen any of the other videos, all you do, you heat it up. I'm not gonna waste this whole video heating up the grip tape and peeling it off. You don't need a $500 hair dryer like this fancy Dyson unit. Your $10 hair dryer will work just fine. The one thing I'm gonna note rather than making you watch me peel this whole grip tape is that I see people peel it hard this way. I've seen them peel it straight up. When you're removing a sticker for your sticker to survive, you have a better chance of your sticker surviving in one piece. Anytime you're removing a sticker with adhesive, you actually want to do the opposite. You want to peel it gently this way. Can you kind of see what I'm doing? I'm peeling it more this way so I'm not bending the material so much to give it more likely to break. Uh, the more you peel it this way, the more stress you're putting on the material, the more likely it is to break. So I'm going to heat it up with the hair dryer. I'm going to just barely peel it this way. It's actually already starting to come up. I'm not going to subject you to the noise of the hair dryer or the boring God is peeling off without me even heating it up anyways. So basically I'm going to peel this off and then we'll continue the video. All right, I'm going to video it anyways. Let me edit this out. Let's see if I'll this records and it's not too noisy. And if I tear it, then you can all laugh at me. See how I'm peeling it up away? What's the safest way to do it? Well, this grip tape is just begging to come off. It's off like it's nothing. Come on, right off. Now, I want to save this in one piece. Not just because it'd be a pain to remove multiple pieces, but I'm going to try to use this as a template so that the bottom edge at the very back looks really pretty. So let's try to get that set up and I'll continue the video. Now, oils are the enemy of adhesive. If you get something oily, adhesives will not stick. Your fingers always have oil on them. I'm not going to bother to put gloves on. I'm just going to get an alcohol wipe and wipe it down really good. That should take off any oils that have accumulated on the board. And I don't really feel any adhesive left on the board at all, so I'm not gonna bother to try to remove it. There's nothing really to remove. We just hit it real good with alcohol and let it dry. Ah. So this is Black Magic brand grip tape. I know I see a lot of people using Vicious or Mob grip tape and they seem to be really happy with it, but I've been using this stuff for three decades. It's the best I've ever seen. It lasts a long time. 
it's not too crazy scratchy that if you hit your leg with it or something it's not going to tear your leg off your skin off it's i'm going to stick with what i know maybe you guys will have better luck with something else but i really like this stuff now a regular sheet of grip tape i believe this is nine inches and the board is slightly higher than nine inches hopefully you can see this really well look how perfectly that fits look at those edges right there so this is what i'm going to shoot for i'm going to shoot for having the top surface equidistant from the grip tape as it is on the sides i'm going to try to position this perfectly so that i got a little bit here and i see people run it all the way to the top and then they put a fender on and then they're surprised that the grip tape gets bunched up i'm going to leave a little bit of gap there i think it'll look good too i'm going to leave a little gap here around the edges i'm going to leave it all the same i'm going to run it down here and then i'm going to take my grip tape that i saved the old grip tape and use that as a template to try to cut it just right for the edge here maybe even slightly long and then scrape it with the screwdriver we'll see how it goes trying to make sure this is filming hopefully the film is pretty well Now measure multiple times, cut once, or cut a little long. That's probably what I'm going to do is cut a little long. Now I'm going to kind of use this. Part of the way I'm going to line this old grip tape up is up here in the corner. I should be able to see where the uh, bullet hole is. That should be a good starter point to line that up. Now the grip tape is the same width. That's a good sign. It's lining up pretty well there. Got it lined up on the screw hole. I'm going to worry about these screw holes when I'm done. I think they should be pretty easy to cut. If I cut them now and they're off, then I'm going to have a weird looking hole in my grip tape. It doesn't line up. So this looks pretty good. I think we're right about on here. And the grip, the old grip tape is still slightly adhesive. So I'm pretty sure that if I trace the edge of this, we're going to be just right. So what, like I said, what I might do, trace it a little long, lay it on top of here. We'll see how it looks. And then if I like it, we'll cut it. And if not, we'll measure it out again. So let's try it like that. Okay, let's try this with scissors. Something simple. Just some really lousy scissors that I don't care if I mess up. This is cutting quite easy. Easier than I thought. No problem. good and I left the bottom edges a little long because I figured I can trim them down I think if I snip those edges off it's gonna be perfect oh yeah look at that that's some nice grip tape Yep, I'm going to trim these edges down a little bit. I'm going to be really careful and meticulous about it. I won't make you guys sit through that, and then we'll see how it looks when it's done. I meticulously trimmed around the edges. I think it came out really well. I'm getting ready to adhere it. And I lined up my screw holes. And the way I did that was I just poked around a little bit until I felt the hole. 
hit, hit. And then I just twist it a little bit. So now those holes are located. And then I'm going to um, just put this over some cardboard, cut a small circle, and adhere it down. Kind of like this. I'm just going to cut a hole about the size of a screw. to the edge. And that should be good enough. I could try to make it round. I don't suppose it really matters all that much. said in the very beginning about having sharp edges sticking out those would be very likely to catch a run and let stuff get underneath so I'm gonna just square them off a little bit make them a little bit less likely to uh, catch holes need to go a little bit deeper so we can take the foot pad on and off without any issues here just cut tiny tiny pieces so everything looks about right all right moment of truth stick it down Get the edge peeled. Now I'm going to basically just use the holes, the screw holes, to line it up. Because if they line up, everything else should line up. Oh boy, it's so sticky. I think I'm off by just a little bit. So then the question, do you peel it or do you leave it? We're going to peel it. Because I want it just right. gonna have to be it because it's not coming off again not without a hair dryer and some effort I'm trying to roll it down carefully hopefully you can see how I'm doing this so we don't get much bubbles hopefully no bubbles oh and look at that oh that's some nice grip tape right there 
and I can trim this up a little bit with the razor, but oh, look at that. Nary a bubble in sight. Those edges. My viewfinder's not turning on, so I can't tell what you're seeing here. Oh boy, look at those edges. Nice and smooth, equidistant. I'm gonna trim those up a little bit maybe with a box cutter. But yeah, just some good old grip tape. No bubbles, no bubbles. One more quick note, I did take and picked at this and made the holes a little bit smoother. And I'm gonna save my old grip tape, not out of nostalgia or anything like that, but just because I may use it at some point in the future as a template, or maybe copy that O would be nice, put somewhere. I'm sticking it to the backing from my old grip tape. And a regular sheet of grip tape would do like at least one and a half. You could maybe get two complete one wheels out of it because it would normally run a full skateboard. A sheet of this maybe is like 32 inches. We only got maybe nine by 10 down here, maybe nine by 11. So I could easily do the front and maybe almost a whole nother one wheel with it. And I think I got it off Amazon, eight, 10 bucks, something like that. Shorty's brand, Black Magic Grip Tape. Love it.